that's our YouTube channel too feature. But right here we have a uh, a Echo uh, PB H ED ten H, the one on the throttle on the side. Uh, we had we at the at the end of like the fall we started having like problems with it. Not sure what, but my dad said he has like three I think. He has one of the newest ones, uh, ninety ten. He has two of the eighty tens, one side throttle and the one on the pen. Uh, by the end of like the season, they started having some problems with it, and then I think it was a newer one. Uh, my dad had to change the piston out for a new piston. Even because we checked the spark plug, the carburetor. Uh, yeah, I think I was cleaning the carburetor off to see, and it wasn't. It wasn't a problem. So right now we're gonna start working on it, disassembling it, and starting to fix that piston up. We bought the piston. So yeah. So yeah, let's see how much time it takes us to do. Sorry for the noise. We have the heat. Okay guys, so another part, we're doing a little short clip. So now we're gonna be taking out the, uh, the piston head. See it, see it inside. The problem. The problem. the reins they are stick together with the piston so you can see the piston all scratched right here so that's why it's losing compression inside we have the piston right here piston we got this uh, from uh, eBay uh, we pay like 35 bucks Forever. And we didn't find an Amazon, so okay. Okay, guys, we're just taking the piston out and look at all the rings, how they are, like uh, like stick together to the, uh, the piston uh, from all the heat. And, uh, but yeah, that's why. Uh, Lower started like losing power and then the compression was too low. That's why when we tried starting it up, even if we added a new spark plug and everything, they didn't want to. So, this is a problem. So, we're making this as short video as we can to, to let you guys know and show you guys how to fix the, uh, the Echo PB 8010 HT or maybe a 90T. A 90T. Yeah, this was the problem, so we're gonna change it out for the new one. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we just took the piston head off too, and I don't know if you guys saw the piston, it was uh, scratched up from all the little, little uh, pieces of metal in there, from, from all the power. But as you guys can see, it's scratched up, so we gotta pour it up with the big tool we have, to make it all nice and clean again, so it can be able to work. But yeah, it's pretty scratched up. Okay guys, so we're going to be starting doing the flooring, you guys can see, so we got the tool right here, I'm going to 
I have a little bit of oil in here. Do the drill. Take these patches off. Yes. Do the the bottom first, this, okay, then the top one. So you gotta lubricate this so it could uh, move inside freely and that just so it could be lubricated. Okay guys, so we just put the Piston head back on. It's, it's really easy. Now we're just going to start uh, putting on the screw set, uh, the carburetor back on, the covers, the exhaust, and then turning it on for the first time in like since like uh, the fall season. So, let's see okay, that. guys. So we just finished uh, putting back everything together. We finished putting back the the tube on, the covers, the filter, the carburetor, uh, the spark plug, and everything. So now we're just going to try and starting it up see how it runs so yeah let's go outside okay guys so this is a, like a 30 40 minute uh, uh, little fix you could do and you will only spend like around 50 bucks the only thing you need is time but we took a little bit of time because of recording but now we're gonna start trying it on see if it runs nice
installed and it had to bring all the, the oil out we added but yeah it's now it's running back in like November December when we tried turning it on it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't run at night but maybe that was a problem so now it has a has a new uh, piston it's a $50 piston so you won't spend that much money on it but yeah there you go guys it's running nice and perfect so now we just gotta try it out in the fall in the springtime how it works okay guys so, yeah we're back in the shot uh in the garage uh, so we did finish uh building everything up we put up everything uh so now it's running now we have to wait till the springtime to see how well it performs and how well it works we will have all the three all the other three echoes in the in the shop where my dad keeps everything so we'll take those out and then maybe we gotta we gotta do a checkup on the on the other one clean it up so yeah if you guys would like to see other type of videos of fixing up mowers or stuff uh let us know in the comments below we would like to do any other video on how to fix a mower how to fix a blower a trimmer anything we could find from uh, from outside in the in the curb or if we have a mower uh sitting around that we have to fix because if something broke down we could do it just let us know what type of videos you like to see and we could do it we also install LED lights on my, my X mark radius. So we installed these two. And then we, the strobe lights in the front and then two in the back. And then we also installed uh, strobe lights on my John Deere 636M. I'll be making a, a review on this and one on the X mark. I bought that on May last year and I bought this like two or three weeks ago. So I'll be making a video about this. Uh, of well, basically what I got for the price and everything. And then this one, I'll be making a review of it. I think it's barely hitting 100 hours. So yeah, barely 100. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys.